Hello everyone, this is Justin, and I'll be showing you the basics of working with Vimeo. Vimeo is similar to YouTube and other streaming video services, but somewhat different in the way you do certain tasks. And Let's get started. Open your browser and go to Vimeo.com. At once, you can see the major stylistic differences between this and YouTube. To create an account, enter your name, email, and the password you want here. When done creating your free account, you'll be brought to this page. At the top, we have a main menu. Me allows you to edit your profile, change your settings, view your messages, and see analytics. Videos shows all videos you've uploaded along with when it was uploaded. Then you have these other items you can be creative with and explore later on. Below is the secondary menu. My feed shows videos from the groups and channels that you are following. If you haven't selected any channels to follow, you will see Vimeo staff picks here. The My Videos button is the same as videos in the main menu. Next is the Watch Laters tab. This allows you to see the videos you've chosen to mark as Watch Later. Discover allows you to see what's popular now on Vimeo. The Activities tab allows you to see what comments are being made on your videos and those of channels you follow. Now, let's upload a video. Click on Upload a Video or at the top of the page. I'm going to click this Upload button. Please note the rules. Uploading copyrighted or forbidden materials will get you banned from the site. Also, please note that with this free account, you are only allowed a weekly upload limit of 500 megabytes. Now, click Choose a Video to Upload. Find the video on your computer and click Open. You can upload more than one video at a time if you want. For now, we'll just do one. Upload selected videos. Now, we're taken to the Basic Info tab. Enter the title of the video, give a description, add tags, and you can also credit others who've helped you create this video. Under the Privacy tab, you can choose who is allowed to see our videos and whether it can be embedded. If you plan to embed any of your video content into a Moodle class or on a class blog, be sure that you allow embedding. Under Add To, you can create separate channels, groups, or albums. This feature is useful if you're creating content for different courses that you teach, making it easier to navigate and search for certain video. Under Advanced, you can select the intended audience, add photos, and a custom URL maybe one that resembles the title of the video you've uploaded and select the appropriate Creative Commons license. It looks like our video is uploaded. When we click this we are brought to the uploaded video. The uploaded recording is processing and can take up to an hour depending on the length of the recording. Vimeo will email you once processing is complete. Now the video is ready to view. Use this button to add this or any video on this site to your watch later list. This button gives you the embedded code that you'd use to embed a video in your Moodle course or in your class blog. Vimeo is a great site to use. It places no ads on your uploads and is a great place for individuals to showcase their own creative original ideas online. I hope you found this video helpful. Have a great day.